Queen Margareta, as Julia said, she always said that she would be in this role. She mm. always wanted to remain queen until the day that she died. But illness was what has held her back and she made that huge decision on January 14 to step down and, and hand the reins over to her son. Uh, I guess... It you gotta, it's very selfless, it, right? It does. Because when you think about the the amount of work that is involved in being a sovereign, the, the, the service to your country, to your community, the patronages, the attending of events, supporting charities, all of those sorts of things uh, the Danish royal family do, I mean... We know uh, the British royal family do that in in a very big way, but but equally in Denmark, um, perhaps she just got to the point where she didn't feel like she could serve in the way that she wanted to be able to serve her people. Yeah, it, it's very selfless, as you mm. said. Uh, but when you consider that Queen Elizabeth II went right up to the very end, to, two days to the before, day, to the day that she died, uh, let's listen in now to the crowds in Copenhagen lining the streets, waiting to be king and queen. crowds there lining the street as, Queen, as uh, well, the former Queen now, former Queen Margareta of Denmark makes her way back to the palace. We're talking about abdication, Caroline. Uh, you've got to wonder, uh, would King Charles ever abdicate for Prince William? Now, hearing this news, obviously there's a lot of speculation. Could this happen to the British royal family? What do you think? Well, anything is possible. And, and I suppose when we, we look at Charles, like, talk about an apprenticeship. So he did a, a hugely long apprenticeship as, uh, you know, waiting to take over from his mother. Um, so he has gone into the role older than, than, you know, one would have expected, I suppose. I mean, 70 years of service um, from Queen Elizabeth II is, is a absolutely extraordinary. Yes, I suppose it's a possibility. I said, what's interesting here is when you look at Frederick and Mary, you see a lot of similarities um, as between William and Kate. And particularly Mary and Kate, they are, they are often compared and in many ways they're very similar, particularly when you look at their interests uh, in, in the charity sense and in patronage sense. Both have excellent senses of style. Karl Lagerfeld refers to referred to them as the royal sisters, so so it's it's irresistible to make those comparisons. Uh, look, <laughs> Charles has only really been in the role a little over a year, um, but he is also, in many ways, quite different to his mother. So it will be interesting to see. He he has been very forward. Um, in relation to modernising the British royal family, slimming down the British royal family, making sure that they are relevant for the world as it is. Uh, so it will be interesting to see whether he takes the view at some point that there is that possibility that he goes, you know what, we need to have uh, a younger set of monarchs in place uh, for the modern world. And that there, look, do I think it's likely? Perhaps not. Is it possibility? Absolutely.